Okay, so the first part of learning about the securing of the API, I'm going to be talking about supporting SSL. Like I mentioned earlier, SSL is the way that we can send the data in an encrypted way so that if somebody's listening and trying to sniff these packages, they're unable to do this. So we have, we support SSL through the use of HTTPS. We can force entire website to use HTTPS. We can do it through the use of our uh, IIS. And I think that's a typically a good idea. We can also force only the API to use HTTPS, the whole thing, the whole API, or even just individual areas of API. And uh, in this example that I'm going to show in code is we're going to create, we do this using filters. So the filter that we create for our as supporting SSL will run before a API code is executed. So what we do, we'll create a required HTTPS attribute class that inherits from authorization filter attribute. And then we will override on authorization call inside of which we are going to, if the get method happens, we're going to return some response that will redirect the user to HTTPS and also let him know that uh, you know HTTPS is required and uh, otherwise it's going to return not found so I'm going to go ahead and show this in code real quick so the first thing that I'll do I'll go ahead in our filters I'll create a new class and I will call it uh, require HTTPS attribute. So we will go ahead and inherit from authorization filter attribute which is inside of a system.web.http filters and the uh, first thing we'll do we'll go ahead and get an instance of our request by using oh no first we'll actually override on authorization method so once we override on authorization method, we'll get this HTTP action context, action context. And inside of this, we can go ahead and get our request. So once we get our request, we can go ahead and check this thing called URA, URI scheme. And we can check if this URI scheme is uh, HTTPS like so. We check if this scheme is not HTTPS. If it's not HTTPS then we can continue and we check then we go ahead and if the request is get we do something. So if request is get then we will do some stuff here to return to the user but otherwise we're also gonna return something useful to the user. We're going to return is going to be response from this action context and we'll create not found response. So here's our not found response. And we will also go ahead and build a context of this response in which we're going to uh, send our HTML, we're going to send HTML string back to the like a header. So we're going to have this HTML string, we're going to return it as a he header, header, and uh, we'll tell it it's a text HTML. And then here we're going to do something similar, but instead of not found, our initial response right here is going to be found. Okay. 
And then what we also want to do is we want to go ahead and build a string to our HTTPS. For that we use a string builder. I'm oh, sorry, we use a, this URI builder object, not a string builder, URI builder. We go ahead and give it to scheme https and a port number we're going to give it 443 and then what we do is uh, what we do is we finally go ahead and send the response to this location that we built using the URI builder So we have a couple of options how to use this. We can use it, for example, I'll open, go ahead and open our, open our food controller. And it can be used for the whole class. So we can put it right here. HTTPS attribute. I'm sorry, require HTTPS. So now this whole class would require, we can also, we can also put in a, just a certain methods. But in our case, in, in a lot of cases, we can apply it to the entire Web API and we do that inside of the Web API config file. Down here. And uh, what we do, we simply say our config HTTP configuration filters that add new require HTTPS attribute and now our entire uh, API is going to be re requiring HTTPS and SSL uh, in order to show that here we'll remove all then I can go ahead and call Our get, which I don't think on this one is foods. Oh, let's see. So it's actually API nutrition foods, and uh, if you look here, We can see this HTTPS is required and it's trying to redirect to it, but we don't have it set up for HTTPS, so that's why we're getting this 502. So 302 is uh, found, trying to redirect it, says HTTPS is required. So that's how we implement SSL into our API.